Greetings from the zombie apocalypse once again fellow girls, guys and gamers, this is Small Archangel welcoming you to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 15 and it looks like our garden's uh, grown and are pretty much ready for harvesting again but we don't have time right now for that because as ever we have got lots of plans, lots of things that we need to do around the base. I still haven't got around to upgrading this because basically since you last saw me I've been doing an awful lot of gathering of parts if you remember in the last episode we were looking for mechanical parts we found almost enough but I've had to go out on the town a little bit more to g gather some more I think I've pretty much to this point trashed every empty shopping cart filing cabinet office chair uh, and uh, anything else I could find while I was about it including a fair few cars in order to gather just over a hundred mechanical parts here which is good I've also been making rebar frames I've also been making concrete I've not made many concrete blocks um, but I have been crafting concrete mix. We've got lots of cement mix in there and I'm currently crafting some concrete mix in there. We're a bit short on stone, it has to be said, so I'm going to have to do a bit more of that as well. But for today, uh, what we really want to do is... Oh yeah, there was one other thing I was going to show you. And I was going to show you, I have been rationalising my tools in this uh, storage chest here, which is something I've been threatening to do for ages. Now that we can do this on the, the workbench, I've been making good use of the combine functionality. So basically every time I've got another shovel or another axe or another claw hammer from working stiff or I've looted, uh, you know, yet another sort of... Um, gun part or something off a zombie I have been combining them all to make uh, better versions of the same so I've actually combined several flashlights to create that one and a couple of wrenches to create that one I haven't combined those two yet just because I don't know we may as well mayn't we we may as well I don't think we're going to lose anything by doing that um, so let's do this in you go does that not actually work actually I don't think that actually works Okay, that's why I haven't done it. So, things that we have to take apart in order to do it, like augers and nail guns, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. And I think entire guns, I don't think it works that way with entire guns either. Like, for example, if I take this pistol and this, I may be wrong, I may be wrong. This may work. No, I was not wrong. Okay, so we can only do it with parts, we can't do it with entire entities, entire guns weapons or entire anything that comes to pieces but with these for example we could so we could make uh, a much better magnum frame and magnum cylinder magnums we've only got a cylinder and a frame so there's not a lot of point in us uh, doing this at the moment just just to show though we can do this there we go we've got two three one now and we can do the same with the, 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 the frame there and put those two together as well and then we get a much better quality one and we save ourselves a lot of storage capacity, so there we go. Um, and make things rather less confusing as well. So we've got some SMG parts, we've got a couple of SMG barrels I can put together there, a couple of sniper rifle sniper rifle receivers I can put together there as well, and shotgun parts and various other things as well. So I haven't gone all the way through that yet, but you can see we've got a couple of purple parts coming through. And I've actually used the combine function in the workbench to um, repair up some purple tools as well. You can see this one here I actually looted. I think in the last episode I found a 600 pickaxe which is excellent and I also found that shovel or I found one of them anyway and um, what I've done to, in order to repair those without losing any durability basically I've combined them with a lesser um, tool of the same kind in the workbench and uh, that's kept the, the durability up and it even made it go up in the uh, case of the iron shovel which repairing can never do so uh, I'm, a, I'm a true convert to that okay so if you remember in the last episode I was talking about improving this area here and this is because I find the only part of the horde that's really challenging at the moment uh, is actually the spitters and that is because they spit <laughs> they have this projectile ability which means that they see us from quite a long way away and once they do that basically yeah they just start sort of puking all over the base and they do damage uh, and they do damage to exterior parts we can't actually reach until the horde is over either um, and so what I thought was to kind of uh, limit their their range if you like uh, we would do something a little bit creative now whether this works or not I don't know but I'm willing for the sake of science to go for this 
So we're going to need uh, iron, we're going to need springs, and I've actually had to make some springs because I just couldn't scavenge enough of them. Mechanical parts, I had no choice, basically. We've got to scavenge them, that's the only way we're going to get them. I uh, don't think we can craft them. Uh, and then, if you can remember from the last episode, I really wanted to be able to make some of these. Now, we should be able to make eight. Nice. So that's what we're going to do. Now, that's going to take... A little while and I've even got a few mech parts left which is great so I'm going to shove those back in there again uh, and I'm also going to put most of this iron in here oh heck we'll put all of it in there but we'll keep wood as a placeholder because uh, I always like to gather iron uh, and then in the meantime there is one other thing that we have got to do now if you remember we have not yet glazed the we have put windows here, but we have not yet glazed our, like, our sort of uh, opposite number, if you like, over there. Our chemistry room, and that was because I was, uh, I was, I was complaining that I couldn't find enough glass. Well, <laughs> several of you have probably already been screaming at your screens. Well, <sighs> you just put sand in the forge, and when you put sand in the forge, you can then take it back out again as glass. So there we go. I'm not quite sure why that came out as two. Oh, there we go. That's why. So we can get plenty of glass out through that, like that. So we can just put... I thought we should be able to do that, but I wasn't absolutely sure how it was supposed to work. And then I've got a little bit more in here as well. So... Um, Okay, that'll probably do for now, to be honest with you. I don't think we're going to need an absolute ton of the stuff, so we'll leave that for the time being. Um, I thought there was some way in which we could use the forges to, to make glass, and I thought it had to do with crushed sand, but I, I thought if I had crushed sand in my inventory, I'd be... But no, you have to literally smelt it through the forge, which I guess makes perfect sense. Now I come to think of it, but uh, yeah... Yeah, it didn't seem to make sense to me at the time. It made broken glass out of broken glass, but there you go. Okay, we've now got a fairly full stack of concrete mix there as well. So for the moment, I'm just going to shove that in there. Now, broken glass, I think... Um, if we've got broken glass, can we then make glass out of here? Or do we have to make glass out of somewhere else? Glass, lead, clay. Okay, so we've got clay... We've got glass. You would think, wouldn't you, that I could make some in there, but no, we need to put... Do I need to take out the sand and put in the glass? That's quite crazy if I need to do that, isn't it, really? That is quite mad if I have to do that. Um, so this is where it ceases to make very much sense to me. Ah, we need to put some lead in there, though. So let's do that. I'm not going to put that much in. That would be nuts. Lead... All right, the lead can go in there. There we go. And then maybe we can make... There we go. It was just lacking the lead. So in point of fact, we probably didn't need to turn this into broken glass, which is a bit of a, bit of a, silly, bit of a silly thing. Okay, so a little time later, I've crafted four business glass blocks, which is what we need for the ceiling light. And then we're making some, uh, some just business glass centered because I prefer that for the actual windows. And um, we've just about finished. Seven, six, five, and then we'll go and glaze this. And then I reckon after that, we'll probably have our garage doors to do. The other part, there we go. Another minute though, I'm going to turn this back on and we're going to have that crafting yet more cement because we need lots of the stuff. Okay, let's hurry along here and keep the rain out of our chemistry lab. Uh, hopefully this is going to place the right way around because it's extremely annoying when it doesn't. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure if I could even reach behind there. Okay, let's just do it like this. Hello. Oh no, you see, I knew it would go sideways. I hate that. Okay, so for the moment, I'm just going to do here, where I know I can reach. There we go. 
there and that one works but unfortunately that one there hasn't so i'm gonna have to redo that one down there there's always one isn't there there's always one but i reckon now i'm probably gonna have let's see let's just make one more of those business glass centered just one please and that'll take all of four seconds um and I can turn that back off again. There you go. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. But I reckon we've got all our garage doors here now, which is fantastic. So we'll get right onto that in a second. Uh, obviously, the next hold we're expecting, day 56, I believe. Uh, let's just see if we can hop up somewhere to make sure we place this the right way around this time. Yay! About time too. Okay. So, day 56 is going to be our next hoard. Let's go down the hatch, shall we? We've got so many choices of how to get around here at the moment. It's fantastic. So, as you can recall, the the, the, the concern with this area is just that it's, it's nice and open, which is good. And we like that, and we don't want to completely, permanently enclose it. Oh, hello, Steve. In fact, hello... Everybody, we've suddenly got an enormous horde on our hands, probably. I found that there are a lot of wandering hordes in this game now. A heck of a lot of them. I seem to be besieged in them. If I stay in one place for more than, I don't know, a couple of in-game hours, all of a sudden an enormous wandering horde, which isn't so bad if I'm up here, because then I could just headshot them all like this. There we go. Uh, but it's a bit of a pain if I'm, you know... Uh, harvesting my tree farm as I was off camera yesterday or uh, gathering clay or any other kind of resource or looting in town. It's uh, it's very annoying actually and I dare say some more will be along directly. Yep, here we go. Um, there and there she goes. Okay, so as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, um, happens a lot. Um, we What we really want is to enclose this a little bit so that we got just the the, the downward facing so we can we can look straight downwards on our enemies and, and fire straight down on them but they cannot see us so whichever direction a feral horde or otherwise is coming from um we're less at risk from them now i need to turn that around i think oh actually maybe i don't yep there's more zombies somewhere but at the moment i'm not sure i honestly uh, I honestly really care. So we need to make sure we put these in the appropriate place. Now, if I put those there, which direction are they going to open in? This is what I'm not absolutely sure. But we're going to get rid of him. Now, he's obviously been through my spikes, hasn't he? Great, you've been damaging my spikes, have you? You know that's not allowed, don't you? He may or may not have started out life as a crawler. There he goes. And is there another one over there? Yep, there's a nurse. And she's even got the temerity to be pounding on my walls. Die! Oh, how did I miss exactly? I have no idea how I just missed her. Three times. Right, she's a sitting duck now. And I've still missed her. This She's a, leading a charmed life, this zombie. Just go down, Nancy. That's it. Good. All right, as I was saying, now the difficulty here is I'm not sure which way is the right way round. It's not easy to tell at all. I think that is, but we're going to have a slight issue with opening the doors if we do that. They're uh, basically going to open. Are they going to open inwards? I'm not absolutely certain. If they open inwards, they're obviously going to cover uh, the doorway down, but... Blast it. Oh no, it's alright, it's there. Okay, they do open inwards, and that does c cover that, but that doesn't matter too much. We can leave that open most of the time, or close most of the time. That's cool. Okay, so that's the way around we want it. Uh, we're going to have to do... Oops. Uh, hello, stop doing that, please. I do not want these blocks placing in the wrong position, because they are rather too uh, valuable for that. They're rather too expensive for that. Uh, so I think we'll put these we'll put these central rather than that's it and we'll put these ones there as well so they're all in the middle except for ones on this side and that's because of the door that's there okay fantastic so there we go we've now got basically doors that we can 
uh, open and close and uh, so we can close it in there which means hopefully in theory any cops approaching are not going to see us until they get very much closer to us and when they're closer to us um, I hope that they're uh, yeah they're, they're, they're only going to be able to spit pretty much straight upwards which is going to minimize the amount of damage that they can do now I would like to be able to upgrade these as well we've got really quite a lot of forging iron here and I've got a wrench and I'm pretty sure that forging iron is what it takes to upgrade these so we'll just close these again so we can see what we're doing and first of all I'm gonna no we need scrap iron do we oh that's good news I'm glad that's it's scrap iron not forging iron we've got lots of that okay here we go well we had got lots of that before we made the garage doors we may need to get some more of it now yeah, okay, so that's actually not the best phase to start on. I would rather, there we go, upgrade those ones first because they're the uh, the side that most like to get a bit of zombie action. Um, but we may as well start, finish this side now we've started. There we go, and this side. And we'll do as much of this as we can. There we go, I'm always collecting iron, so... Hopefully we'll have... Hey, we've run out. But uh, we've nearly got there, haven't we? So, oh wait. I've run out of... Oh, did I need the forging iron after all? Ah, I think I must have needed the forging iron for the second uh, lot. That's fine. Okay, I thought forging iron played a part somewhere. Obviously I've been making a lot of forging iron because I needed it for these. And I needed it for armor and all of that kind of thing. So, we're going to have to make some more forging iron now. I'll just... Place hold of that and then I'll put the forging iron I've got left in there and then we're going to have to make some more of that. That's done. There we go. Let's get this making forging iron. How much can we make? Only 74 but that's okay. There we go. 176. Alright, now the next part of our base plan. Let's just make sure we haven't got anything else crafting here. No, we do not. The next part of our base plan is going to require these and it's also going to require a shovel now i have a good quality shovel here um so we're going to grab that and uh, we're probably not going to get chance to do ever so much of this because it's already 1750 let's do a little bit of looting while we're down here but we can at least sort of mark things out in preparation sham sandwich whatever and anybody else yeah we've got we're getting some, starting to get some fairly decent loot now. I'm going to have to repair there. Look at that. One little nurse did that. One little puny nurse. And then I did some damage myself there when I couldn't even hit her pathetic head. Okay, so we're going to clear these up. Basically, uh, our next phase of the base is not it's kind of where our house is going to go but it's not actually the house itself so as i've said before our house is going to be in this direction so we're going to need to do a bit more grass clearing this is good grass fibers are still useful even at this level of the game um and basically yeah we're, our house is going to be over here but it's going to be on guess what yet another platform um but we're going to be i don't know we're going to do this slightly slightly differently over here so I'm just going to mark out where we're going to be crafting that. And then over the next couple of episodes, that is what we're going to be doing. So uh, as you can see, we've got some fairly damaged ground here, as per usual, where the zombies have been having a go at us. Um, right, so where our platform comes to is pretty much exactly where um, we'll have our uh, catwalk, if you like, over to our base. Um, our house and so we're gonna want one two three four five six seven eight we're gonna want an eight um yeah eight blocks over in that direction like this and then from there we're going to need uh we're gonna need quite a large square basically we're looking at the same diameter as exactly the same size of uh, platform essentially as the one we have here and therefore we're going to want to mirror this concrete platform we have on the ground here so 
going across to here. It's going to be there. And I'm going to have to take these trees out the, the way as well. And I think the ground is actually kind of going upwards here as well, which is not ideal, but we're going to be flattening it out pretty well when we come to sort of concrete it all over. No, there. And this is part, partly why I'm wanting to lay out our ground plan like this. Okay, I think we've got that about right. We just need to take this tree out of the way. So it's kind of in the middle of our plans here. This is partly why I've got deforested the area around our base. There we are. There we go. And then we've got another one here. No, we don't want to hit it with our club, thank you very much. I've noticed since the 15.1 update that I can actually now hear the zombies coming a bit better. This is a very welcome change. <laughs> they don't stealth me anymore. We like this. We like this quite a lot. So now, excuse me, let me just put my headlight on. We're going to uh, clear this area generally. And then in the next episode, we're going to start constructing this part of the base. Oh, there's another little tree. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that this is going to provide us with uh, somewhere to keep our mini bike because we are, as I say, I think we're pretty much in a position we can make one whenever we like. We just need somewhere safe to stow it as well. Uh, and so that's what we're going to get on and do in the next episode. And then that is going to be literally the foundation for our living accommodation in Alpha 15. So I do hope that you will join me for that. In the meantime, I'm going to just double check that I've got this exactly where I want it and then I am going to start doing a bit of digging which is going to be very good for my, uh, it's going to be very good for uh, for our mining tool skill and it's going to be pretty good for uh, what we get down to stone level as well. It's going to be pretty good for, for, for our gathering of stone. As, as I said earlier, we are pretty short on stone right now. So this is going to be a very good thing all round, I think. But it's going to take some time and some patience. So uh, don't be surprised if uh, yeah, next time uh, you join me in the next episode, I've already kind of dug this hole out. Because either that or I'll speed edit, edit it because it's not the most uh, exciting way of spending your time in the apocalypse okay guys so i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have do what you normally do so well hit that like button but also feel free to leave me any comments and suggestions and uh in the meantime keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy bye bye for now <laughs>